Good evening, everyone. We are in Dalat, and this is uh, our first time here. And we arrived a few hours ago, took a nap at the hotel. It's nighttime now, pretty chilly. We are at about 1,500 meter elevation. It's about 5,000 feet, so we're pretty high up in the mountains. But uh, behind me in the distance is the Dalat Night Market. Very, very famous location here in Dalat, and we're gonna go check out all the street food and night market scene and um, just kind of see what's there. Let's go, guys. When you enter the market, the first thing you'll notice is all the food. There are sit-down restaurants and tons of street food vendors. Our first stop was this street cart loaded with all kinds of meats, seafood, and veggies on skewers. You pick the skewers you'd like to eat, and then the vendor will grill it up for you. Here's the different things we've ordered. We've got, it looks like beef with a bunch of veggies on here. Here's beef wrapped in a, some kind of a leaf. Got some hot dogs, I got some chicken underneath there. Ah, oh, I went in the sauce. Filming fail. And then we got pieces of okra. And so that's gonna go well with uh, these various dipping sauces. Hot green chili, normal red hot sauce, and I think that's hoisin. All right, first one we're gonna try here is the beef wrapped in, a, I believe this is betel leaf. I'm gonna dip this in the green chili spicy sauce. Go straight for the hotness. So good. Oh, I got a piece of bone. I think, I think I just cracked my tooth. Actually, the beef is minced with some other things. It's very spicy by itself. There's a lot of seasoning in there. And with the betel leaf, it's like a nice, um, green, like earthy kind of flavor to it. But because it's minced, you do have to be careful. There's pieces of cartilage and bone in there. So chew carefully so you don't like crack your tooth. Mmm, yummy. Got some okra. I'm just gonna use my hands because I don't care. I'm gonna dip it in that hoisin. Grilled okra, man, that's awesome. And this is just a normal like pork and veggie skewer. Smell, whoa, smells really good. I'm just gonna have this by itself, no hot sauce. All right, let me get some of this um, bell pepper here, green bell pepper. Oh. One of my favorite barbecue items. Here's some straight up just chicken on a skewer. Chicken's very fatty. The most iconic street food snack in Dalat is definitely Bang Chang Nong, also referred to by many as Dalat Pizza. We've got the, the famous uh, quote unquote the lot pizza on the inside, it's got all kinds of things. It's got egg, it's got green onions, it's got ham, it's got hot sauce, it's got uh, like some kind of ground shrimp stuff, it's got cheese. Uh, look, what is that, mayonnaise? I have no idea, but this is gonna be epically awesome. Oh, and it's wrapped in a rice paper like tortilla. This is as big as my head, it's steaming hot, and it smells good, it smells awesome. It's like, um, like an omelet burrito or something. But let's uh, try to eat it and not burn the roof of my mouth. Oh my God. It's so crispy. Mm. I have to take another bite. The egg and the hot sauce, man. This is like breakfast. Breakfast pizza burrito. I don't know how to explain it. It's so good. Whoa, the cheese in there too, guys, really yummy. I love that they just have some like piece of paper wrapped around this. Oh. It's 
It's so savory. A little bit salty, but um, really good. Mm. All right, we're gonna finish this and keep looking for some more food. One side of the market focuses on selling clothing and souvenirs, while the other areas sell tons of fresh produce from all the abundant farms of the central highlands surrounding Dalat. popular street food I didn't expect to see were the French style breads eaten along with hot soy or corn milk. When you sit down they give you a plate of one of each kind of bread that they have up on display. This is just like essentially like a fried donut stick and this one looks like a nice ball with uh, sesame seeds on it. I'm sure it's empty like full of air inside. This one looks like a shoe puff, shoe cream puff, like from Japan, but I don't know. These are like very French in style. Like this looks like a croissant. Like that looks pretty proper. And then this looks like a, kind of like a mini pastry thing, which is pretty cool. And then on your table, there's also a cup of sugar. So that way when you get your drink, you can add sugar to it if you want to make it like more sweet. Okay, we got our drink order. And this one here is corn milk, and this one is soy milk. And they're both really hot in this glass. I don't know why they put hot drinks in glass. Like that is so hot to the touch. Like this is one of the most simplest ideas for street food, but it goes very well. Like everybody is drinking soy milk or corn milk and munching on bread. All right, we added some sugar into the soy milk and then the corn milk as well, just because they were very bland by themselves. I mean, they taste good by themselves, but we wanted to like sweeten it up just a little bit. Yeah, that's really nice with the sugar in there. Mm. I'm gonna take a piece of the, the donut bread. I'm gonna dip this one into the soy milk. Dunk it. Woohoo, steaming hot. Okay, I'm holding the hot glass. Woo. Look at that. That's good. And I'm gonna try that corn. It doesn't smell like corn though. Oh, wow, but it does taste like corn. I wanna try this croissant little bun. It does have the paper on the bottom, so you gotta peel that off. Let's go ahead and uh, rip that apart. Yeah. All right, dip this one in the corn. Yummy. Mmm. I like that bread. Nice soft bread. Mm. It's like a sweet roll. I'm gonna break this one open. And like my prediction is just full of air. Let's find out. Is there a way to like reveal it like a clam? Like can I can I do this on film? <laughs> is this gonna work? Ta-da! Okay, yeah, that's failed. It's very uh tough on the outside, empty on the inside, as I predicted. Let's soften up this tough bread in the corn. Not my favorite. This is very airy. There's a lot of um, pockets of air in the bread itself. It's kind of tough on the outside, even dipped in the corn milk. Yeah, not, not a winner for me. So I think this is a shoe puff, the shoe cream puff thing, because I can see some custard in here. Let's see that there. Custard inside tastes like there's almost like coconut or something. Hmm, not bad. Last but not least is this little pastry thing. It looks like there's crushed coconut inside. What is that filling? It tastes all right. The outside's really hard though. A little like way too dry for me. Another popular area of the market is the giant stairs near the Monument Circle. 
Many people enjoy sitting on the steps while eating street food snacks and watching the market scene from above. Dalat is super famous for all of the agriculture around here. The, the soil is super rich up at this altitude and there's all kinds of stuff growing around here. Coffee especially, like coffee, oh my God, so much coffee. There's also a ton of strawberries. So everywhere around here we see strawberries, a lot of amazing produce. And uh, one of the cool street food items that uh, I really wanted to try here is this very simple strawberry with sugar and syrup. Yeah, here it is, as you can see. It's super simple, guys. It's just strawberry with sugar and some syrup mixed up. And this is a really cool snack. All right. Mmm. Yeah, good, super good. It's like my childhood, dipping strawberries in sugar. Mm. Okay, everybody, we hope that you enjoyed this Dalat Night Market street food tour. It's just been such an amazing time. Really great environment, lots of amazing food, really good vibe around here. If you guys wanna know how to get here, all the Google Maps and information and all that stuff's gonna be in the description box down below. Give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.